Hey guys, it's Vanessa at Cake Style and today I'm whipping up some rose cakes. Like I haven't done enough already, I've got this one and this one and this one and this one and these. But I'm going to be making even more because I haven't made any mini cakes and I thought it would be a really cool idea to take some regular old cupcakes and turn them into some rose individual mini cakes. So as well as our cupcakes, I have a whole pile of our sweet buttercream. I've done up some beautiful spring-like colors and I've got the details for both recipes popping up in some cards and also written down below for you. I've also got with me the 104 tips, 125 and a 366, some couplers, piping bags, spatulas and a pair of scissors. I also have some four inch round cake plates that I'm gonna be placing each of our cakes onto. So first things first, I'm going to take the cupcakes out of their wrappers. I'm going to take a piping bag with a 104 tip and screw that together. I'm going to take some of our beautiful pale pink and I'm just going to start by attaching the cupcake onto the board. Now we always want to make sure that we have our piping tip with the biggest part at the bottom. Start by going a little wriggle up and down, which I've kind of nicknamed a zhuzh. I have no idea why, but we started with all these weird, crazy names when we were teaching in classes. And that one just kind of stuck. So now what we're going to do is wrap it around all the way. And then do little windscreen wipers. Squeeze, come up and over. Now I'm left-handed, so I work to the left. Right-handed people work to the right. You want to go around and do about five petals up and over and just keep working your way around overlapping by your previous petal about a third of the way now as you go out the petals start to get a little bit longer at this point always turning it's kind of like it's on a giant flower nail Okay, now at this point we're going to stop, switch to our 125 tip, which is basically the exact same thing but larger. Now taking our cake again, we're going to go around and do one final row with our larger tip. And this just helps to join the two together so it doesn't look like a big difference all of a sudden. Last one, and that's already looking so gorgeous. There's a reason why I love making roses. They're just so pretty and they always turn out quite perfect and sweet after 14 years of practice. <laughs> okay, now this is where it gets a little bit trickier. We're gonna work from the bottom, swooping up and over. You wanna make sure you get enough curve that you won't see this top bit where you've ended when you add the next one. We're gonna keep overlapping. but swooping over. Again, if you're right-handed, you swoop in the opposite direction. And just end it right there. Now it's already looking beautiful, but I wanna go ahead and make it look a little bit more garden-like by adding some leaves. Now the trick to using these is to make sure that it's positioned like a chomper in a way. It's kind of a bit different to how you expect when you see them first. We're going to come along, do a wriggle and pull. Do another one right here and then come around and do one on this side. And then we start all over again with our next colour. Go around with our larger tip and we'll swoop up. And again, a couple of leaves.
And there you go, we have some beautiful rose mini cakes. You didn't have to create a slab cake and cut them up into little circle cakes. Just grab some cupcakes, whip those wrappers off and then start piping. Thank you so much for watching guys. I also want to say a huge thanks to everyone who has checked out our new website www.cake.style and the reason why I say www is because every time I say cake.style people are waiting for the .com at the end but it's not. It's just cake.style. Super easy. It's going to have lots more things added to it over time but right now it's got inspiration, tutorials, photo tutorials, guest features, it's got articles and blog posts and hopefully a whole bunch more plus recipes as well. So be sure to check that all out. Thanks guys and I will see you again on Friday.